That's the end of our public comments. Um, Mr. Chairman, we, I did come in a public comment card for this gentleman, Mr. Tom Wells. I'm not sure if it got lost in the stack, but I do recall turning one in for him. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, I am Tom Wells, 502 Northeast 6th Avenue, Gainesville, Florida. I'm not an outsider, I'm running for U.S. Congress here. And why that would be pertinent to this exercise has been alluded to by several people already. Jim started out with a discussion earlier this evening of uh, words private property rights and capitalism. We have a constitution, we have Congress that talks about these issues, the Congress writes laws that define how capitalism works and how private property rights are respected, and that Congress is working for the corporations. One of the things that Congress is doing right now is what uh, the lady from Mulberry referred to, that we are bashing the EPA. We are cutting funding to it. We are sabotaging it. This is not unique to the EPA. This is going on across all agencies of government. We are sabotaging Medicare, Medicaid, the VA. We are cutting administrative budgets for the IRS. Everything is going to be made to look like it's not functioning because the government is bad. Well, the alternative government is corporations. Corporations are great when they're competing with each other, but when they take over a singular function and operate as a monopoly, their profits take precedence over our lives. And that's what we're talking about tonight in Stark, is the stark contrast between the property rights of four families, as I understand it, and the property rights and lives of the rest of the people in the county. Now, I have every confidence that the very good people, very well-informed people I see here, have elected good people, that you value your children, all of you, and you will stop <coughs> this program now. That's because I'm innately optimistic. Next year, what happens next year? Well, the people decide, we're just going to leave the phosphates in the ground and plant solar panels. Hopefully, they will conclude that. That would be wonderful, because we don't need phosphates, because we need to fight the larger problems of the world, and this is part of those problems, and we fight those by stopping phosphate-intensive farming and doing regenerative farming, that was alluded to, and we stop doing regulations like the FERC can use eminent domain for private companies and do the sable trail. It turns out if you plant solar panels over the land use there, you get more energy from the solar panels than you did from the natural gas passing through that pipe. The billion cubic feet of natural gas passing through that pipeline every day is equivalent to the energy of the solar panels at this latitude. There you go. Tom Wells for Congress, whatever that's worth. <laughs>